Hi guys and girls and welcome back to the channel Retail Investing and Trading. In today's video you're going to see a short overview of another boring day into the market but I'm also going to give you an important update regarding the daily analysis of a forex market. So stay tuned. and welcome back to our morning pre-market session. So let's check out what do we have potentially in the markets on Friday the 8th of February 2019. Uh, USD CAD, nothing here as I'm trading bar, uh, Gartley, uh, only patterns uh, right now. So I will just gonna skip it because there is nothing on the USD CAD. We are currently trending in a bullish trend, breach of previous resistance. I'm expecting this price to go here, but currently I don't see how I can get involved. Okay, so let's move to Aussie CAD. There might be something on the Aussie CAD here, uh, something like this. What do we have? So we might have a layer today. We might have a garlic pattern. Let's just see. The, is this uh, reach 61.8? So what do we, first? What we need to do is wait for price to go all the way to the 61.8 level, then retrace back to the 27. 0.2 level so let's set our alarm uh, price alert let's see will price reach even the potential to come back for a Gartley completion down there if yes then this will be my Gartley pattern and if it's gonna be per rules and I have to check do I trade Gartley's and what are the overbought or sold rules that I have if they are they you will you will definitely see this in uh today's afternoon session which will come directly after this one with the update of the equity curve now let's move forward to aussie usd uh yesterday i said that i'm expecting price to go here to this level right there obviously price didn't do that i was wrong but i didn't getting okay it came here it retested yeah it's it's okay um uh didn't do that my prediction was wrong if i were to trade it i would i would take a loss probably but i still don't know how to engage in those trades because i didn't backtest them so uh i didn't took a loss what i'm expecting right now is for price to go back in the kill zone and then make a new low we will see how will that go euro dollar our loser from the other day this week we might have something here let's see let's see the pattern forma formation this should be okay so again we need a Garfley to push back here and then push back down let's see how let's set our alarms on okay so we need the price to push back to 61.8 level and then push back down to 27.2 so we are setting our alarms like this uh where is this so now we are waiting for notification on my cell phone so that i need to look at my charts otherwise i probably won't even look at the charts today maybe yes but pound dollar uh wow so we are still in a bearish trend uh, we didn't breach our previous outside return yeah we just spiked to it so probably price could give us a nice uh double top then rally down but i don't know let's see this yeah nothing here nothing there's just nothing here i will take a peek at the charts today just to see what pound dollar is doing and pound yen our yesterday's winner very similar movement to the pound dollar uh currently yeah we also would wait for price to go back down to the 50 level and then uh, reverse back up and not to reach our a point x to a a to b b to c c to d and waiting for a pattern here whatever whatever happens i will also see throughout the day how the price on poundian is acting and with that being said that brings us to the end of our morning session guys the, the one thing that i want to share is uh, 
it's 4 30 here on a timer uh not in the morning actually it took me four minutes to record my pre pre-market analysis and then throughout the day at the end of the day it takes me another 10 or so and yet my system if if traded correctly and we will see in this first live year uh, produces around 20 maybe up to 30 percent return year on year for a year worth of work that I did last year so just imagine spending 20 or something minutes per day setting up your trades and then leaving the charts you know trading isn't all about sitting in front of your charts uh, for eight hours per day and making uh, I don't know how many pips it's all about back testing everything setting up your trades and then letting letting them go that that's what I kind of start start concluding all about all of this stuff because that that it's cool you set it up you know what you can expect you know what what your expectancy is then you just set your trades and you shouldn't care about the outcome of the trade because the process is what you do each and every day is correct anyway that's somehow a rant there but with that being said Click that like button, click that subscribe button, and smash that bell button. Help that YouTube algorithm rank our videos a little bit more higher. Also, if you have any questions whatsoever, click that comment and comment below. I'll try to answer as soon as I see it. Um, yeah, that brings us to the end of the morning session. And in a few seconds, the afternoon session will start. Thank you very much and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi guys and welcome back to the afternoon session. As I said in the morning, there is nothing much on the radar. There was nothing much on the radar today. Uh, I did added something to my template uh, as my as my system consists of uh, maximum 75 risk and some additional filters like overbought and oversold, RSI, 7030 and 8020. I added it to uh, every chart that I have in front of myself so that you can see them as well. Okay, so here on the USD CAD, I can trade just bad. There is nothing in front of me, uh, as we said in our morning session. So let's move forward. Aussie CAD, uh, there was a Gartley today, which turned out to be profitable. Uh, this is the Gartley, as you can see. Let me show you if you don't see it. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion right there, and it hit our targets one. Uh, our one time frame as you can see here uh, did candle this would be our targets one here currently it's uh, in position for targets two uh, the completion point came right at 27 extension which is here so yeah it made you know a few uh, 20 or something pips but it was out of our trading plan because yeah my trading plan said to me that I should not trade Gartley's on Aussie CAD Aussie USD, there was a thing forming on. I cannot trade bats on Aussie USD, but I can trade Gartley's. However, we had a, a bat here. Look, a bat forming, still forming. It's out of my trading time frame, uh, time zone right now. But there was a bat forming here. Hope you can see it. X to A, A to B, B to C, and then C to D completion right there. Let me zoom this in a little bit for you but it didn't complete and it's out of my trading time and i should not trade bad anyway on this pair so we skipped it euro dollar nothing here actually let me just see yeah not nothing here uh, i was thinking if something can happen like this in the morning but it didn't it didn't happen so yeah nothing here for me today pound dollar there is a chance to have something if this hits the 50 level which it did as you can see we have a potential bat for monday morning x to a a to b b to c and c to d completion right here we will see uh let me let me draw this one just for a reminder for sunday uh afternoon uh for sunday pre-market session this sorry this would be our be our bat okay and then we have this here Take a wheel. yeah so that that would be a bat now let's let's see what price will do uh well 
in the Asia session on Monday, basically Sunday, Monday. Okay. Uh, if this is gonna happen, uh, I need I the price action, the RSI should not go below uh, my below 20. If it doesn't go, then I will put my pending orders. If it does go, I will cancel them. That's it's that simple. Pound yen. Uh, very similar movement as to just like the pound dollar. However, we didn't touch the 50 level here, so we don't have even potential bad. So I'm still waiting for something that I that I see currently nothing for me. With that being said, guys, uh, this was a very a boring uh, day, and if, if there is nothing that will happen in my in my morning session and in the afternoon session throughout the day. There is a high chance that I won't be uploading a video because there is nothing to share. However, if I uh, if I see some kind of action, just like a, if I set my pending orders, then got canceled or whatever, or maybe got triggered in an order, then I will upload the video. But uploading just blank content doesn't make sense to anybody. So just so you know, if I didn't upload anything uh, in a day, chances are there was very boring thing, the boring day, and I there was no action for me i didn't get triggered into any trade and stuff like that with that being said click that like button click that subscribe button and smash that bell button again guys i'm just joking thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and talk to you soon bye bye